The more hits we play, the more hits we get. URLradio.net. Stacey Sturm. Nikki Jansen. Okay. Songs about sex. Okay. Let's, Apparently. Let's do it. They chart way better than <laughs> any other songs. According to an analysis of 174 chart-topping songs in 2010, Mm-hmm. 92% contain reproductive messages. <laughs> really? That's a classy way of saying their songs about sex. Um, uh, professor Don Hobbs parsed the songs by genre and theme, and boy are the results unsurprising. Hmm. R&B songs had the most explicit sex-related phrases. Country yeah, songs yeah. skewed towards themes of commitment, fidelity, <laughs> and rejection. Don't they always? That's right, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Right, but of right. course, the overriding theme was all the same. Let's get it on. Yeah. The study went on to compare today's music to the past, dating back to the time when opera was all the rage. And guess what? <laughs> Nothing's really changed. Is there anything other than love, sex, and heartbreak to sing about? Right. Yeah. It's not really. It's I lost my dog near, and I've been drinking beer. Near and dear to you, you know? Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what pop music does in the future. But if... If the past is a future indicator, they're all going to be songs about sex. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much like, I mean, what people, I mean, sing about is their relationships yeah. and stuff with other people. So, I mean, you know, you got to talk about that stuff. Sex appeal seems to be the biggest topic. Yeah. Like, girl, yeah. you sexy. Um, let's see. Arousal. Yeah, is a is another <laughs> the actual sex act or like a lot of Beyonce's appearances. new song "Drunk in Love," where she's talking about um, her surfboard she's and on grinding the surfboard. on the wood. <laughs> 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 Have you seen that video? I, am I was not. like, dang, I hate that song. <laughs> Hate it. It's bizarre. So bad. It's it is really bizarre. And her, she's a horrible song. She has like this gangster like accent in it. You know, it's oh. just like bizarre. Yeah. I just don't get it. It's like I almost want to say it. It's almost like she's testing. Um, like will will this crap song become a hit too? Like, <laughs> oh yeah. She's gonna start putting out crap just to see if we buy it. Oh, I'm sure. She could put out anything, honestly, and I'm sure people would love it. Uh, and I think that's what she's trying. I do. <laughs> horrible, horrible. What's horrible. up with her sister beating on Jay-Z? Did you see that? There are so many rumors as to why. <laughs> there seriously. There's so many, so many rumors as to what is going on with that. I don't know. I'm sure it's Some something to write about later. Because she doesn't think Jay-Z treats her sister well. Some are saying it's because Jay-Z... Um, Messes around on her a lot. Oh. Some say it's just because she's mad because she can't headline or, or she can't open for Beyonce and Jay-Z when they go on tour. Oh. I don't know. Drama. Such sister drama. Yep. Write about something good. Oh, well, thanks for coming in, Nick. Thanks for having me. It's been a wonderful day. It has been a great day today. <laughs> Coming up, One Hit Wonders at 1, Woman Power Hour at 2, and your requests all day. Let me know what you want to hear. Email me, Stacy at URLradio.net. That's S-T-A-C-Y at URLradio.net. Everybody have a lovely day.